Okay, just came into the hostel here. Uh, the boss probably sitting in there. He's got his own little desk. Um, lovely little kitchen. Beautiful. I like it. It has everything. Microwave, washing machine, fridge. And he showed me where everything is as well. Pots, pans, plates and things. Oh, look what I see. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Iron board, woohoo! And this place looks actually really, really new. Uh, and here you've got a bathroom that was a shower, and here you've just got a Extra toilet, brilliant. And there's my room. Um, this cost uh, four thousand, which I think is about eight euros, maybe a little bit cheaper. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, the taxi from the centre, from that pub I was in, cost um about. 5 euros or something so I'm guessing it's just a wee bit outside of the centre but as I was coming here um, I did notice like uh, a few shops and things in the area oh there's a little shop just around the corner look at all the stuff it has uh, no idea what they are to be honest <laughs> I don't speak Russian but I got a kebab sorted um, no more than 5 minutes from that hostel um, there's loads of supermarkets um, a few little restaurants and there's also like a lot of buses going past so to get uh, from here to the center um, I'm guessing it'll be pretty easy okay I got myself that little kebab um, that cost um, 1500 which I think is like three euros or three pounds or three dollars but it's um, yeah it's good enough it'll sort me out for tonight anyway uh, it's raining outside, so I'm just going to sit about tonight and just take it easy. We smoking area outside as well. Brilliant. You can sit out and look at the rain. Lovely. Okay, I'm just standing outside the uh, Halleck Bank here. And, uh, yeah, I just used the bank machines over here. And those bank machines are for free. There's no charges on them. Uh, brilliant. Sorted. And just in case you're wondering, I'm just just at the end of that street. There's actually a KFC. That's my lunch sorted as well. Well, I must be coming into the center here because there's a Burger King as well. Whoop whoop! Isn't that lovely? Hey, hey horsey! Yeah. Um, they've actually got signs outside saying Guinness and Murphy so I just came in here just this little pub I said yes give me a Guinness he said no we have no Guinness I said okay I said give me a Murphy's he said we have no Murphy's so this is my first Kazakh beer okay let's give it a try my first Kazakh beer it costs about 1 euro 40 I think there Mm. It's actually quite nice. I like it. Cheers. Okay, if you actually come to this hostel, you'll see a sign saying go that way. Um, but it's not. Maybe it's a different hostel or something. But uh, in English, it's actually called Family Hostel, which is here. And you gotta go down these stairs. No smoking. And that's where the hostel is there. And here's my beautiful room. Nice big double bed. Uh, yeah, pretty nice. I like the lights as well. Little fan. I didn't realise these guys actually had another place to just move me room. Um, and this is our little kitchen. 
Um, but it also has a little balcony, which is big enough, and it's a little bit cooler here as well. Yeah, it's actually all right. And here's my new bedroom. Um, yeah, smaller bed. <laughs> is it a demotion? Air conditioning, or is it a promotion? Um, I'm only planning to stay here for another two nights anyway. Um, they've also got a small bathroom and there I can actually do my laundry. So, sweet. This is the pedestrian underground to get to the other side of the street. Pretty scary. Whoa. For Almaty being like such a big, big city, and like everyone's very horn happy here, um, it's surprisingly very green. And you can actually smell the trees as well. It's actually really beautiful. I'm enjoying this little walk. I'm actually going towards the center-ish, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's beautiful. A little Italian bar down here. But, oh! Irish bar. Woohoo! Whoop whoop! Let's go in and try the Guinness. Pub actually looks really, really nice. Very fancy, but also looks quite Irish as well. Really, really beautiful. Yeah. I like it. And they've got the football playing. And here is the finished product. A uh, pint of Guinness here cost me five pounds, which is maybe five euros fifty, six euros maybe. Uh, brilliant. Slancha. Okay, now it's taste test time. Let's see how it is. Um, that's surprisingly really nice. Um, it is actually quite creamy. Mm, I love it. Hey, this place even has its own smoke room. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I haven't seen that in a while. Okay, I'm, I'm very impressed with the cream on top of this Guinness, so I'm actually going to give it a cream test. Let's see how long the happy face stays there. Okay, so after my two pints of Guinness with one called Kenny, um, really creamy, really nice. Yeah, tastes good. Okay, I'm um, just coming out of the Irish pub here and um, I'm going to do the Drunken Stagger home because there's a place on the road um, that I noticed on the way up and I want to see if I can find it again on the way back. There was a little place here that came and they actually sell alcohol and um, they're actually going to pour it from this little tap and give me a little bottle for the walk home. Brilliant. Sorted. Um, yeah, I'm well pleased. <laughs> Something new. Okay, I got this big bottle of beer and it's about three euros. Sweet, happy days, that's me for the walk home. Hi guys, this is the place where I actually got the, the big bottle of beer. Uh, pretty cool, I like it. That'll do me now for my walk home. Nobody knows. The trouble I've seen, nobody knows but Jesus. I've also noticed that in Almaty, you have these streets here. Um, they're perfect for like uh, e-bikes and they're everywhere. Anyone driving an e-bike around the city has no problems like. Um, whoop whoop. There's a lot of things that like are really different like whenever you're in these Asian countries is that um, yeah you could actually leave your bag here and no one would actually touch it. Um, this bag will stay here until the owner comes back and collects it. Um, there's no chance of anyone ever stealing it. You know 
like there's something you just can't record like um it's just like sitting with the locals getting to know them they're pretty cool yeah life is good and i still have my bottle of beer as well <laughs> Take me to the place I love Take me all the way I don't wanna feel Like I did that day Yeah, one of the things I noticed as well before I actually came to Almaty is the castle on I'm gonna take a walk in there now and see what they've got Yep, the castle on is a place where you can buy all your tents and all your outdoor goods The shop is massive Yeah, they have a huge selection of stuff and the prices are actually pretty reasonable as well. They have two decathlons here in Almaty. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you need to uh, get some more outdoor gear. Almaty, I'm um, the city of apples. Uh, I think Almaty means apples in Kazakh language. I've actually noticed that there's free Wi-Fi in this area as well. Um, this place actually, ooh, found an Irish pub. Wow. Um, this place is actually really nice. It's uh, more of in the center. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, this is a lovely little structure. Okay, this is the same chain pub I was in uh, a few days ago, uh, Horrocks Irish Bar. I got myself another Guinness. Let's taste it. It's actually all right. It's quite nice. Slant out. Unlike the other Horrocks at the other area, which is a wee bit outside of the city, of course, um, it doesn't actually have an outdoor area. This place is actually quite nice, and it, I think it's actually in the center as well. Lovely, lovely. With all these countries in this area all being landlocked, they all love showing off how much water they have with, with their beautiful fountains. Okay. It's pretty cool looking. Such a nice little centre. Um, yeah, it's uh, very green. Uh, lots of little buskers about as well. Uh, it's got a really, really nice feel to it. One thing about being lost in a city that's very green is that um, you can never find your way home. Everything looks the same. This whole city is like a big grid. And um, yeah, I haven't bought myself a SIM card, so yeah, lost again. Okay, with such a huge mix-up this morning in this family hostel, um, it's also my issue because like I usually just pay by day not through booking.com but uh, one second I'm being told to stay then the next second I'm being told to leave and then the next second I'm booking another place in booking.com and then they're asking me to stay um, but because I've already booked another place it's uh, time to hit the road and check out somewhere different I also did a very good thing yesterday when I was walking to the centre I actually went and checked um, where that new hostel actually is and it's actually not too far it's about a 25 minute walk or so um i'm actually halfway there already i think <laughs> 
just a little room I had uh, last night. I'm not too sure if it was actually a private room just for me or whatever. Um, but yeah, it seems to be more dorm beds they have in here. Uh, there's a little cafe out the front, which is pretty nice. Uh, I can't record it at the minute because there's too many people out there. Uh, but yeah, they've got uh, fresh sandwiches and some cakes and things. Pretty cool. More of Almaty street art. A few of the guys sitting relaxing. Beautiful Saturday afternoon. Sitting playing a game of chess. Yeah. And if you're a person who likes uh, cornflakes in the morning with uh, a little bit of fruit and a cup of coffee, please remember, big cow, not milk. This is milk. Not milk. Milk. Um, I seem to make this mistake every day. Every morning I wake up and get a coffee, I go and get not milk. And my first coffee in the morning is usually rotten. <laughs> whoop whoop. Okay, um, I was asked to uh, move my room again because other people like sometimes they're looking for double beds or single beds. Uh, but this is another nice little room. It's actually next door to the other place. Uh, this time I've got two beds, two single beds. So again, one for a siesta and then one to sleep at night. Um, yeah, it's okay. Um, I'm pretty flexible anyway. It doesn't matter if I've got a big bed or a small bed. Uh, but yeah, the room is pretty cool. You know, no complaints at all. Here is the central mosque of Almaty. Pretty beautiful. Yeah, really nice. Uh, let's go see if it's open. Have a little look inside. Very impressive.
Just saw a lady put all her put her hand on each one of these little stones. Yeah. It must represent some famous people in the war. This is the third Irish pub I've seen uh, in Almaty. So let's go in, try the Guinness. Now this place actually looks like um like an old Irish bar. Um you should smell the food. Oh beautiful. A couple of TVs. Yeah, cool. But I got my Guinness. They also have uh, open Wi-Fi here. And I've also noticed that they've got Kilkenny. I could be here for a little while. My Guinness was actually poured a little bit quick, but let's do the test. It's very funny. Yeah. It is a little bit foamy, but it's the taste that matters. Okay. Time for the taste test. It's actually okay. It's not bad at all. Not as creamy as I'm used to, but it's okay. Nice. Slancha. Okay, so a quick edit. Um, the open Wi-Fi, you need a, a, a Kazakh phone number. But uh, you can also log into the neighbor's Wi-Fi. That's actually open. Brilliant. Would you believe I just got a Kilkenny's in a Guinness glass? That is just sacrilegious. Can't do that. <laughs> but being abroad, like anything can happen. That's a great marker of a building there behind me because it's all lit up and it's all really beautiful looking. Doesn't really help me though because I'm still lost. Um, yeah, um, beautiful, yeah. Um, even though I've no SIM card and I don't know which way I'm going, I think I'm going in the right direction. Um, whenever you're trying to navigate your way home as well, it's really important not to panic because. Yeah, you'll always find your way home. Yeah, it's one of those things. Oh right, that seems to be maybe some famous place. So, I must be in some famous area. <laughs> whoop whoop. The thing about um, not understanding the language in different countries as well, is that um, whenever you come into the KFC for example, um, you just kind of order food and see what you get. But this one was actually quite good. Because I actually got double KFC burger. I get a lake of chicken, chips and a drink. That's actually quite good. Considering I've just come out of Burger King. I'm actually well pleased. Lovely.